Hey everyone, welcome to Figure Fantasy. So we're here to discuss whether Ignite teams are really good as a pure Ignite team or would they be better with a little bit mix of other figures that don't have Ignite, you know, capabilities or synergy. So with this team, I am with Final Counter-Strike in one of the teams. Uh, I'm, I think I'm at level 5, which I'm using Galatea team. So for this team, we have a non-Ignite member, which is Ayane. At this point, I don't have any other defender to hold the fort. I have Sanad, of course, but he's not built yet for this type of action. So I have to be contented with, with Ayane. So going back to Ignite teams, they are mainly good as support especially for damages, especially for mobs built. Um, mobs like these wherein you have to take a lot of them down. Ignite teams are very handy, but definitely you'll be needing um, other figures that, that, that are not part, part of the Ignite team. So uh, Ayane is, is one, again, of the examples. We'll discuss more later about um, the possible Ignite teams and some of the possible additions that you could add to your Ignite teams to make them um, you know, more viable in this playing environment. So again, as you see there, I'm defeated. But again, your Ign Ignite teams are kind of weak because they belong to Galatea and Galatea doesn't have that much options in terms of figures. Okay, so going back to your Ignite team, um, Again, you have to mix and match with non-Ignite figures. Like, for example, you can use Eryxia. She's, she has no synergy uh, with Ignite, but definitely she'll keep your team alive. Uh, the other one that I mentioned for an Ignite team is a possible synergy with... Uh, is, is a possible, you know, add-on would be Ayane if you need more, you know, uh, if you need more frontline or defenders. And that's about it. Only both of them... I feel you'll be, you know, you can incorporate to your team. As far as your Ignite team is concerned, um, if you want to put up a pure Ignite team, first and foremost, you have, uh, instead of Ayana, you may use Sanada. Okay, Sanada is, if, uh, Sanada is actually good, uh, uh, particularly with Ignite teams. Um, he holds his own well. And you can actually incorporate him as your primary defender. The other option would be Zhao Yun here. So Zhao Yun could be your DPS, could be your pseudo tank. But definitely, uh, if you don't have these two leveled up high, Ayane could really take their place. So that's in position one. The other position is your front DPS would be Ultraman as well. Um, if you guys don't have him... The option for him would definitely be only Zhao Yun. Again, again, if you haven't had Ultraman before, then Zhao Yun would really take in his place again because Zhao Yun has a synergy with Ignite due to his adornment. And you don't have any other um, Vanguard DPS here to take their place so you'll have to be contented with ultraman or zhao yun also for your um for your militarist your options here would be the newly added arisa arisa is actually very good especially if you are phasing up a big boss um the other option for her if you don't have her is uh, not him is lubu lubu is a fantastic option um she, uh, although Lubu doesn't have any ignite synergy to him, but an a, a possible swap in. So Zhao Yu, on the other hand, is a must for any ignite team. He's your only healer here, and combined with Eryxia, they could be a very good defensive tandem for your team. And the last one would be Akechi. Akechi Matsuhide, if you... If you're trying to put in more offense instead of defense, he can be good. So the, my bottom line with Ignite teams is they are good, but you need to supplement them at this point. You cannot, 
I, I think it would be impossible to put in a purely Ignite team and expect that team to win. Um, I don't think it would be a reality. So probably a three-figure Ignite team or a four-figure Ignite team, then the other two would be supplemented by non-Ignite synergy you know, uh, figures. The other one that um, I would like you to consider, guys, is, is exploring beyond the brand so you can actually also put in re re has a very good ignite uh what do you call this as a very good ignite uh uh function so burn damage the lower the burn resist the higher the amount burn damage taken so please take note of this because um she gives out additional extra burn damage equal to 40 percent of Ree's attack. So for her, um, lower burn resist is actually bringing Akechi. Because Akechi here is the one who lowers, um, sorry, it's passive, reduces all enemies' burn resist by 25%. So if you plan to bring Re into play, then you must bring in this guy here to add more firepower to your ignite team so again those are options that you can pursue um if you want to ask me your staple here would for your burn team if you want the the core of your burn team it would be basically zhao yu um the other one the other staple would be ultraman supposedly but if you guys, again, don't have him, you have to replace him. But they're going to be staples in your burn team. And the other one, the third one uh, for your burn team as a staple would be this girl, Arisa. So Arisa, Ultraman, and Zhao Yu will be your core. The rest will be inter interchangeable. Definitely, you can swap in Erixia there. Uh, for your defender, you could choose between Ayane, Sanada, and Zhao Yun. The three of them that I mentioned, Ultraman, Zhao Yu, and Arisa, are going to be your new mainstays for your for your Ignite team. So hopefully, guys, I was able to you know give you guys some tips in terms of how to run your Ignite team. At this point, you can't really put in a pure Ignite team. Um, we still lack a lot of figures for Garitea. But again, I hope this helps. And if you have questions on team build, please put them down in the comments section below. Thank you guys for staying this far. Take care, stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.